So yeah, why did you come here? Like, why why this spot? Yeah, yeah. The come here because I'm not looking for the other one. I come here because it's a nice spot, you know what I'm saying? If you look at the scenery around, you can see a lot of major things in London around here as well. Yeah. It's kind of peaceful. So a lot of people come out here just to relax, to reflect about what man's done, reflect about the day, just reflect about everything really and truly. Just have your own zone, just to get away from the hustle and bustle of the city, you know what I'm saying? The city's very packed and there's always stuff going on, people's always commuting and everyone's always busy, but you have to take some time out and just to actually get away from it all and think about what man's doing and just stay focused and this is a nice spot to come to and just think about things and also you can get inspired as well. Like, you won't get, there's not like, there's all these beautiful, beautiful things around, like a lot of beautiful things, but it's an open space and it's water and the sound of water itself relaxes the mind to me anyway, you know what I'm saying? Just to be around that and just reflect. So yeah, so yeah man, that's, that's what I'd say for that one. And you were saying about like fishermen coming Yeah, yeah, before. even fishermen. Like guys, Chinese guys, they come down and they put all their rods up and stuff and fish and that. And they just do their thing, man. A lot of people come here and chill out. People in the summer on a nice day come and park up their cars. Yeah, whatever the girlfriends and whatnot, and just reflect and chill. Does this remind you of Ghana a little bit? Or not really. Not really. Not really. Not really Ghana per se. It's London. You know, I say London more, but not Ghana. Who reminds you of Ghana? Being in London, does anything remind you of Ghana? I say people around the culture we have within the community you know, you know what I'm saying the way we really carry ourselves reminds me of Ghana you know what I'm saying that's the behaviour we have that's what that's where Ghana comes into and we, we continue with the mentalities that we have from back home and whatnot we bring it here. So obviously restaurants as well like the people and stuff like that go down there sometimes to eat. That all reminds me of Ghana and we have our events and stuff we have them kind of things for my move back home, dancing and enjoying those things there really and truly, you know what I'm saying? Did you grow up in Ghana or did you grow up in London? Or? Well, I grew up in London, born and bred in London. I lived in Ghana for a year and a half. So yeah, and I always go back there. For the past three years I've been going back every December. Yeah. So, you know. but where in Ghana did you grow up? Like um, where did you stay so? I stayed in Taekwede. But I'm originally from a Chimoda. My dad's brother was in Taipei, but I so stayed at home in Taipei and I stayed some time in Tema as well. So those two places, that's where I was at, Tema and Taipei. Tema, that's where the music happens. Yeah, you know, you know like that. We got the Sakomono Massive, Sakomono <laughs> Estate. That's where I was posted. And all them ends there, so yeah. Ooh. Now, if you were president of Ghana, hmm. what would you want to change? Hmm. Hmm, I've changed a lot, mate. I've changed a lot as president. Stop all that corruption. Stop the corruption. But how would you stop and that? How would I stop it? I'll enforce a team. A team which is strictly, strictly looking out for any person within my cabinet who's being corrupt. That's the aim of that team. And there'll be a team that is you have to draft them in from for overseas to make sure that you know they do the job I will do that and they will watch these people whether they like it or not you know and I'm saying scrutiny in every move of what they do in terms of money and whatnot and contracts they'll scrutinize everything and make sure everything's right because the corruption is killing us to be honest and it needs to stop the future is right for our country you know what I'm saying and I don't think that I mean, from a losing life, would like to see Ghana. How Ghana? Ghana's doing this thing. Don't get twisted. But he wouldn't. He would have liked to see Ghana at a higher stage by now. You know what I'm saying? From since the independence. But because of obviously certain setbacks, we reach where we our potential. You know what I'm saying? And that's down to corruption, people being corrupt, and feed like the people's opinions. Education is a key factor as well. You know what I'm saying? I think 
that if education is in place for the people that the natural common sense to have you know what I'm saying so they wouldn't be fooled about what someone says but they have the knowledge to know that okay he's telling sense and he's doing something that's right people just listen to people's words and follow it and you know say not because they don't have the core education that's the basic education when you're young yeah and you go to school you don't just go to school and learn about books you learn about life as well and you learn certain things as well in it life skills as well you know what I'm saying and the fact that Ghanaians, some Ghanaians have the opportunity to go to school to learn life skills is a key factor you know what I'm saying so if that is, I think education is very important they need to have uh, education where people can actually gain free access to education you know what I'm saying from the early stages because that's where the, the, it matters you know what I'm saying once they get to age where they can make their choices and say okay cool I mean person maybe yeah education no more uh, very, very, very cool that's your opinion you know what I'm saying because you have the choice but at the beginning when you don't really know much you need to know the basics and I think that's very important a lot of Ghanians don't know the basics like that the educated Ghanians don't get twisted but the, the ones in the villages and the townships or whatnot uh, you know what I mean even people, certain people in the city you know what I'm saying when you go to the city you see people selling their you and show and their head still for how many years got put in the shop you know what I'm saying can be put in the shop it doesn't need to be like that. Obviously, you're trying to make your money, but like I said, it comes once again back down to education. You know what I'm saying? If they're able to get that education, to have the knowledge to do better things, then they'll obviously be aspiring to do better things than rather just, you know what I'm saying? They're creating jobs as well. You wouldn't need to put people's thing, put in a e on your head every day in this day and age, you know what I'm saying? Like, if they're creating the jobs, then there'll be jobs for them to go and do, and then they can go back and say, yeah, this and that. So it's down to the government to. Corrupt being the crap corruptness needs to stop first. That's the key point. And then from there, once the corruptness is stopped within the leaders, if your leaders are not leading you the right way and they're behaving in such ways, how can the people then follow in the right steps? You know what I'm saying? You know people see that you are robbing me. And obviously you didn't too when he's doing this thing, he's gonna rob someone too, isn't it? You're like, fuck it, the government's robbing me, so why not? You know what I'm saying? Maybe excuse my language but it's annoying at times to talk about Kahana in that way but it's the truth isn't it? Yeah man. So you're in the music business as well. Mm -hmm. That's a business. Mm -hmm. How impactful do you want to be? Like where do you want your music to go? I want me to take over the world. I want my music to impact people all over the world but I especially want it to project me and what I do, especially Africa. But at the same time, being born in the UK, I have to remember I've been born here and I'm from here as well. So I've got the best of both worlds. So I want to project both of that, you know what I'm saying? So one, firstly being Ghana, then secondly, the UK, I want, them, I want people to see Africa in a better light, you know what I'm saying? They need to know that, oh yeah, there's not just bad things going on there, there's also positive things going on, not just in terms of music. When I get to a certain stage in my music, I want to be able to influence decisions that go on within Ghana you know what I'm saying if I can get to that position I would love to get to that position because I think the future of Ghana lies in the youth and the people who's in the diaspora you know what I'm saying we've come here my parents have come here for a reason to learn and whatnot to do whatnot we've been born here cool, we've been born here but at the same time we could have been easily been born in Ghana and then they come and what would you have done then so what are you going to give back for having the opportunity to come here and do something you have to give back you know what I'm saying so people yeah, you don't know the language, I can't speak the language, and rare, 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 rare. But it don't mean that you can't do something for your country, you know what I'm saying? So I want people to see that. And yeah, man, the perception of black people in this country as well, like, or in Europe, in the world, I should say, yeah, the perception is bad, man. Like, the majority of time, even people, like, they're scared of black people, or rare, rare, rare. You, you, whether you like it or not, it's the truth, innit? Like, you have to get past the barrier first. There's no way that you can say, oh, you step in front of someone, yeah, 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 yeah. it's still going on, innit? But that perception needs to change, innit? And I think it comes from those who's leading us, innit? Like, obviously, the entertainers who play key factors and what goes on and what people perceive, innit? So, obviously, if the entertainers are projecting the right things, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying not talk about your life and what you go through. Going through some hardship, that's because that's what you're putting into your music, innit? That's what you're gonna do in your music, fair enough, innit? But once you get the opportunity to make a difference, do you make a difference? Because it wasn't easy for you, so why do you want someone else to go through the same kind of lifestyle you're living? You know what I'm saying? 
at the, when you get to that position, make a change, make a difference. You know what I'm saying? And therefore, people will be able to say, yeah, okay, you was gone from that, and now you made a difference, and you done this and done that. And now someone who's younger than you can come up and see that, yo, my man's doing this and doing that. Let's try and do that because young people to look up to always look up to the older people and what they're doing. We're talking about that as well, you know. We're talking about that in a car. We're talking about older brothers. We're talking about older brothers. Like, who's your role? Did you see someone that you wanted to aspire to be like, or that you thought, wow, yeah, I like that? No, it's. My brothers have always been there. They've always been a role model to me. At the same time, growing up in an area where it kind of gets orientated and, you know what I'm saying? going to school and whatnot, having been influenced by other things. Yeah, I was involved in gangs and whatnot, getting into all that madness and all those things there. Yeah, I was doing those things, you know what I mean? But obviously what I went through, that made me wax up and think, okay, cool. Yeah, man's doing all these gang things, but man, I'm going to be doing gang things for the rest of my life, bro. Like, come on. Like, when I get to a certain age, I can't be doing it. You know what I'm saying? And at that age, when I see youngers now, and then I see them doing it, obviously they're doing it and then what not but they don't know in it until they go through something and what I went through I think that's what's made me what I am today in it you know what I'm saying there's things that happen while man was doing those things and I think God said to me no boom like obviously you're going through this now you've got this change or you know what not you know what I'm saying so all them kind of things there you know what I'm saying people have got their reason why they do their thing but always look at the bright side of it and tie and do something positive out of it, you know what I'm saying? So that's how I see it. Well done. Do you mind us talking about what we have? Well, it's a good thing. It's a mad thing still. A bit deep. I'm exposed to that still. But, yeah. Is that it? from early from a young age when you grow up like when you learn about your country Ghanaians were proud of where we're from you know what I'm saying but the fact that we're proud of where we're from always, like, from when I was little I used to even go to shops and write a t-shirt and put I rep Ghana on the t-shirt and all sorts you know what I'm saying like, I was proud and with regard to basically reflects that of stuff right when I was younger as well like, to represent Ghana to be proud of where I'm coming from to project it right manner, you know what I'm saying, so that's the reason why I'd say I accepted to be the ambassador but I'm also be able to project where I'm coming from and enhance my country and if I'm able to promote my country what I'm keeping to see is like, oh, what's that different guy where are you from, where are you from, they want to be interested, obviously it's under the office club right now but like, they want to be interested to Ghana and see what's going on in Ghana, you know what I'm saying, we're still in Ghana right here, that's how I see it, we're still in Ghana so if we keep selling Ghana, people always want to know about Ghana. When they go to Ghana, maybe we'll get some good investors in Ghana. Maybe we'll get some good next kind of people going to Ghana to improve Ghana, you know what I'm saying? So that's the reason why it's still. Why do you think it's important for us to embrace our Ghanaian culture? Because that's our roots. Whether you like it or not, you're born here, but your blood is Ghanaian. And that is your root. At the end of the day, when you go and do your DNA or your, your G's check, and take it back, back, back. Gonna go back and trace the guy, and ain't gonna trace to no UK land, you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. Now, what's up? Mm. Reach number four in the got to three, in number fact. three got in to the three. world chart. iTunes chart. Mm. Wow, trust, trust me. Trust. How, how do you feel? Like, did you where did you think you would go get to? Now, what's up? I didn't, to be honest with you. Yeah. I wasn't expecting it to even do that. Right now, I'm still in the top 10 and standing at number 8. But throughout this whole week, it's been going up from 8 to 3 to, you know what I'm saying? The highest has been number 3. Stayed there for like two days. But I didn't expect that. I'm not going to lie. I did not expect that at all. And it just, it's just it's, it's good to see that people are supporting it. They like the music that I'm producing. And it just motivates me to do more. And that's 
stupid out there what I've done now. You know what I'm saying? So I'm happy about it, man. I'm very happy about it, man. I'm a big everyone who's bought a copy, and if you ain't got a copy, get a copy. 79p. You know what I'm saying? It's cheaper than a drink. A bottle of drink, crap. Right? I'm saying this recession that they are hitting you with. Go and buy a music 79p. In, in, entice your heart. <laughs> Where can you get it from? Um, it's available on iTunes, Spot, um, Spotify, also on Shazam. Put it on there. You can find it. So, yeah, man, it's out there. So, if you want to find out more about Mr. Silver, and if you want to know more about Mr. Silver, just hit me on Twitter. It's M I S T A F number two D S I L V A. Or you can just type in Mr. Silver as M I S T A S I L V A, and you'll find me and follow me. Um, Facebook, Mr. Dot Silver. Yes, check that out as well. Website www.mrsilver.com.uk. That's a couple places you can find me really truly. The social network the sites I'm, I'm there, man. Instagram, Mr. Silver Official. More than places I'm there. Follow me, you know what I'm saying? Follow the legacy still. Uh, it's, just the, it's just the beginning. The foundation stones are been laid and we're just stepping on the stepping stones and continuing to build what we're building out here. And we need you to support, you know what I'm saying? Because you are the core. And if the car's not there, and we go out to the white people, and go out to the Asians and whatnot, and the car's not supporting it, that's the foundation. Without the foundation, then we're not going to stand, are we? So we need to keep supporting it. We've been crying and crying, all oh, black people, all oh, Africans, we don't get this, we don't get that. But we're finally getting somewhere. So, and we're in the UK, this whole Afrobeats UK thing, everyone's talking, where, 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 the Afrobeats UK is going to do this, it's going to do that. But where, if you don't support it, how the hell is it going to last? You know what I'm saying? If you don't support it, how the hell is it going to last? If you keep whinging about it, how is it going to last? You know what I'm saying? And those are the artists who is in it as well. You know what I'm saying? You need to work hard. It's a hard working thing. Not every DJ is going to play your music. You know what I'm saying? But it's for you to go out there and push it upon them and let them see that, oh, you, the people love your music. If the people love your music, there's no reason why the DJ can't play your music, innit? You know what I'm saying? It's all about the people rather than worrying about the DJ. So make the people love you first before you worry about the DJ, once the people love you, the DJ will bang your music and you'll be calm. So just put the work in man, and support this movement. Car. It's a big thing, man. It's a big thing. Nothing like this has ever happened. And it's happening now, so let's make it last and make an impact in the world. So, yeah, man. What advice would you give to young people? If you had to give them two, <coughs> three, three tips about making it, not just in music, but, but anything in life. you want to do. Yeah. Wait, well, hey, I just say follow your heart. And follow what you want to do. Don't let no one tell you, oh, you just say what you say, you say what you have to do this, go and study this, go and do that. That's the big mistake I think that a lot of Ghanaian parents make upon their children as well. Or African parents, I should say, oh, go and you're going to be this person, you're going to be that person. Life is not about go and be this person, that person. You need to find yourself and find out what you like doing and what is your positives, what makes you, you know what I'm saying? So find out what makes you and find out what your positives are and what you can do within that field. Once you find that, follow that and do it. And do it to the fullest of your ability. Once you do it to the fullest of your ability, you always get results. You go half-hearted, you ain't gonna get no results. If you go full on, you're gonna get results. Sometimes you get set back, but the setback is a, a set up to come back. So do your thing, you know what I'm saying? Get me? So, just do your thing, really, yeah. Um, you say What's going on people, it's your boy Mr. Silva, the first ambassador for Mifigana, set up in the logo, you know what I'm saying? It's all about Mifigana. But right now I'm asking you a big question. What do you people think your favourite food is? Let me know what it is. Let me through Ghana know what your favourite food is right now. I'm saying and I'm out. Peace. What's up? Broke my 